Okay, guys, uh, got a lot of happy people in our locker room. Um, this is what we've sort of shot for, to be able to win the East, and that was our first goal um, that we had to accomplish before we could go on with anything else. But I'm so, so proud of our football team, so happy for, what, for them, what they've accomplished, uh, the 42 wins that our senior class now has, ties a record of, the, I guess, the 13 class and the 14 class. And uh, when you look back, these seniors have experienced it all. Um, they've been to a Rose Bowl. They've been to a Cotton Bowl. They've been to one Big Ten championship. Now they'll have an opportunity to go to another Big Ten championship game. So um, just uh, a credit to their chemistry and to their leadership again, to their playmaking ability. You know, as far as the game, I thought Connor Cook came out and played extremely well for a guy that really hadn't practiced, but, but really he practiced on Thursday for the first time in two weeks. I thought he excelled, um, played tremendously. Big catches down the field. Um, Burbage's catch, uh, spectacular, I would say. Got good running from our running backs. Our offensive line protected the quarterback. No sacks. Really didn't get hit. Uh, you know, and this is from a team that uh, leads the nation in sacks. So that was big. Obviously, the big, big news, news of the day is zero turnovers for our offense and four turnovers that we, we were able to come up with. You know, Arjun Calhoun's interception on the first series turns away a, at least a field goal attempt. <clears throat> then obviously, uh, big play turns flips the field when uh, Demetrius Cox scoops it for the score. I think it was seventy yards plus. I'm not sure. Long way though. And then uh, Malik McDowell's interception, and then the the um, in the second half, uh, and also uh, the fumble on the kickoff return, Jack Allen's touchdown. All of a sudden, it goes from like a you know sixteen point game or eighteen point game to to more to a lot more. So uh, we sort of fell off a little bit. But uh, just an outstanding job, and we just sort of wheeled our way to it. Uh, you know, if you look at the statistics, you know, Penn State's got a good football team. They're a seven and five football team, but they've been in every football game. Uh, so, good football team. I think uh, Hackenberg's a good player. But uh, I was just so happy going back to Indy. So, step one accomplished. And I thought we reached a little higher this year. We're 11 and one right now, so we'll put our position in, ourselves in a position to play for, uh, for a Big Ten championship. And that's step number two. So I'll take questions. Mark, you've talked all year about the wins taking care of themselves in terms of the end game. Now that you're in this Big Ten championship game, should the winner of this game be in the college football playoff? Oh, you know, I would think that um, the way it looks right now, I would think that the winner of this football game goes to the college playoffs. And I would think, you know, with the you know 11-1 team playing, number five last week and a number four team playing, um, we play an extra game. So we play a 13th game, so there's an added risk to, the, to, all, to all of this for us for in, this, in this conference. And uh, I think we represent uh, a lot of great football teams in this conference. If you look at this conference top down right now, you've got uh, quite a few teams in the top 20. Coach, Connor Cook uh, told us that he was good to go as of Thursday with practice and <clears throat> developing through the week. What did he have to show you finally that he was ready and how much more improvement is there in terms of regaining his strength to get? Well, I think that, uh, you know, I talked to him on Thursday before practice and said, hey, you, you know, you've got to show. You've got to show that you've got zip on the ball, got velocity on it, and uh, you've got to show that you can step in there and play. And he demonstrated that on Thursday, and then the next step was he had to be able to get hit. You can't play scared. You've got to be able to, to play through this because there's going to always be a little bit of a, uh, concern when you step back out there, but he did that as well today, and he was. And I left it up to him how you want to play this thing out, and uh, he told me before the game, um, right before the game, on, you know, as we were coming off the field, let's go. I'm ready to go, and that's when the decision got made that we would go in that direction. Tyler O'Connor and, and Damian Terry did a tremendous job last week, especially Tyler, and he had they they had great practices this week. So, again. That experience only makes this football team stronger, and you saw the strength at our running back position as well. You know, um, so we've got good players, and uh, we need to use all those players. So, Mark, what's the biggest difference you've seen from your defense since Nebraska, both in terms of execution and as well as mentality and focus? Well, we're getting guys back, uh, especially in the secondary. We got some guys back. You know, I think Arjun Calhoun is playing very well, and I think. Uh, Darian Hicks is playing very well, you know, at the corner position. So uh, they tackled, they played the ball down the field, you know, they cut off people um, down the field. So that's a big part of it, I think. And, uh, um, you know, just playing, you know, just everybody's playing better. You know, it's a, it's a game-to-game thing all the time. We gave up some plays out there, but we kept playing. 
I thought really felt like when they got inside our five yard line, we played extremely well. Even if they scored, they, they took about ten plays to do it. So we played extremely well, and that's and that's a part of it. Hey, Mark, uh, this is your third time going to the Big Ten championship game. I wonder, is there anything more gratifying about this season, the way you had to do it with all the injuries and some of the games you had to win and some crazy plays? Well, I, you know, that remains to be seen. You know, it was pretty gratifying in 13 as well and in 11 as well. Uh, those are great football teams, and they accomplished a lot and uh, very close to all those players. So I think the ride, it, the ride to, these, to these moments are, are special. There's a lot of special moments with all of our players um, regardless of the year, as we come into it, there's a lot of big, big wins. There's big road wins. There's big home wins. Um, great crowd out there tonight. Tremendous crowd on Thanksgiving weekend. And I uh, want to thank uh, Spartan Nation for showing up loud, um, you know, excited. Everybody goes home, ha- home happy, so that's, that's, that's great for everybody. And everybody goes home an East champion, not just our players, but our, our fans do as well. Mark, uh, right before halftime, Penn State kind of closed the score, made it 20 to 10. With so much on the line, what was your message to the team at halftime? You know, our message was, uh, our message was that you got to hold on to what we came in with, to hold. Understand that there's going to be adversities, but we got to hold in terms of keeping our mental, our mental toughness right here. And we've been saying you got to be mentally tough four times more than you are physically tough, and that's a part of it, handling adversity. So. Um, we had to hold, and we had to work some things out. And they were getting the edge a little bit on us on, on, on you know, bubble screens and now routes and things of that nature. Um, we missed some tackles on defense, but then we'd come up with a play. I thought our offense played very well in the first half, and then we responded to the second half and went down, down the field immediately and, and scored. So we went from 20 to 10 to 27 to 10 right off the bat. So it made us a little bit more comfortable, but it was a football game, and um, as, as you would expect when you play Penn State. Mark, how much more confidence is your team playing with at this particular point in time? It just looks like they're really in sync. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, we're playing our best football down the stretch. And if you look at and compare us with last year's Big Ten champion, that's what they were able to do. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, we were in control of this situation. Even though we had lost to Nebraska, we knew we still were in control. And we knew we had to win it. If we were going to win it, it wasn't going to be given to us. And we, we had to play this football game and take it as opposed to playing cautious and standing back and saying, hey, I just hope we don't lose. Okay, we had to play this game to win. And, that, and I think that's, that's the mentality our guys went out with. And, uh, I mean, our whole football team, all 115 players who were out there dressed, felt that energy. And, that's, and that, is, that creates even more energy. Um, and that's what we have right now. We have that energy. And we'll play a good Iowa team that has the same type of energy. Mark, you talk to your team all the time about taking seriously what they do, but having fun. When Jack Allen scores that touchdown, I think your reaction says it all. But what can that do for a team, just energy-wise and, and, again, propelling it even farther? Well, first of all, we're going to use all our weapons. Okay, so we recognize the athletic ability, and we're going to make sure we use every, every bit of that. But, uh, um, you know, Coach Dayton, we've, we've done that in the past on senior day, but uh, – you know, Jack's a talented player. I mean, he, he could be in there and doing some of those type of things. So, um, but, uh, you know, I'm just happy for him. Just happy for him. And, you know, I knew his offensive linemen were going to block for him. <laughs> so that was a given. Mark, um, you mentioned similar energy, energy to Iowa. Um, how have you, have you followed this season that Iowa's had this season, just kind of early look? Do you, do you sense similarities between the programs or teams or the seasons you guys have had? You know, I've watched them on film when they played some of their common opponents that we've had, which aren't too many. Um, but, um, you know, I've watched them a little bit on TV. But, uh, you know, Coach Ferentz does an outstanding job. He's a tremendous coach. And, uh, you know, they've, they've won their way to the top right now. They're 12-0 and right now. So uh, we'll have an opportunity to play. And we've had great games with Iowa over the past years. So I'm sure this will be another one. Mark, take this in the spirit it's meant. For 40 years, everyone in this state and maybe in this conference has talked about this day, Michigan, Ohio State, nothing else. And in the last few years and today, you made that game of the undercard. Is that significant to you? No, I mean, it's, it's significant to me what we're doing here and, you know, I try and concern ourselves with what's going on here. Every now and then I get caught and go off on a tangent 
okay? But I try not to, okay? Um, but I'm concerned myself with what we do and how we do it and, and really how we play after or how we react after. So just when we walk out of there tonight, you know, a champion east side, well, how we react on the streets of East Lansing is just as important. How we come to work tomorrow is just as important um, because those are life lessons, and, and we need to understand those things. And with res- success comes even more responsibility, and that's what we have right now. We have, we have success. I would say pretty great success, but with that comes even more responsibility, how we show up and play and how we prepare, what we do as people as well. Mark, with uh, Penn State's proven ability to rush the passer and any lingering concerns about Connor, how rewarding is it for you that an offensive line unit that's gone through so much this year could keep him clean, never touched in 26 throws? Uh, Yeah, you know, Connor told me that at the end of the game, never got touched, never got knocked down. Um, You know, our guys protect. You know, we've, we've, uh, we've played with a lot of different guys up there, but now we're back in sync. We've played with guys, though, and again, we've gotten stronger. You know, across the board, we've got guys that we put in the game, regardless whether it's in the secondary, at linebacker, at the defensive line, on the offensive line, at running back. We've had a quarterback. We've had injuries, and we've worked through these, through these injuries. And really because of that, you know, there's more, there's more of an emphasis in, for them in practice. They know that they're going to have an opportunity to play in practice. So you get ready to play. There's more preparation. There's more competition. There's more confidence. And there's more at ease when they go in the game. So um, they did a great job. Our off, we have a great offensive line. Um, I think we've given up 15 sacks all year. We were able to sack the quarterback tonight and pressure him as well and, uh, and come up with four turnovers. We were plus four in the turnover margin. So I think for the year, we're plus 14, which you know is pretty good, probably leads the conference. Mark, you talked a lot about the memory-making aspect of this. Uh, could you talk a little bit about what it was like to see Connor at the end there waving his arms, getting a little frantic, and then conversely seeing what happened with Trevin and not getting to finish out his senior game and kind of where he might be headed forward? Yeah, you know, um, so I'm fortunate. I don't know what the extent is um, to that, so I don't think it's – I don't think it will alter next week, but we'll see. Um, but, um, you know, for, for Connor, we were trying to put him in for the last play, and then we fumbled the ball. <laughs> Well, I guess we were four to one on the. Well, that's all right. Four to one's good, all right. But um, but uh, uh, so he didn't he didn't get to go out there to make that uh, that last play. But um, I mean, he just had a tremendous game, I think, and very. Um, I was so happy for him too to be able to finish in Spartan Stadium. Thanks, Thanks guys. Go green. <laughs>